Hello and welcome fellow gamers, my name is Borek and this is another episode of 7 Days to Die Starvation Mode Today uh, an update has been released, well actually today when I'm recording this video and it is... What's day? Is it today? Is it Wednesday? No, it's Tuesday So, I am recording this video for Wednesday uh, So yeah Recently I have had some issues with my recording software and it was crap. I'm terribly sorry about that. I did not expect it, the synchronization to be so bad and I'm really, really, really terribly sorry. I have changed the setup of my mic as well, so I hope it's not going to be so hmm, loud for you when I hit uh, the keys but do bear in mind that I have moved recently and I don't have a proper desk to record so I am trying my best uh, to provide you all the best entertainment that I can give you at least I will try so today there was a starvation update uh, now it's 15.2.9.11 and another day has just woken up so among others let's let's check look at that the bull is not huge anymore uh, so bulls and cows have been rescaled. That's ju the, just the first change. So what has changed? Well, now we can make animal feed with different type of foods. As you can see, we can craft those with hay bales. Oh, used to feed cows, pigs and sheep. Oh, shit. We can craft them on us. Yes, so let's do that. Uh, so, okay, so we have animal fed for cows pigs and sheep as you can see over here by the icon by the bag with the icon of a cow so let's start crafting those since we do have shit holy shit that will take <laughs> that will be a lot we can craft chicken feed fed with ear corn and and uh, sunflower oil mm, that's quite interesting uh, healthy uh, homemade chicken feed fed for both of them ear corns and wheat grain and for the rabbits we have apple and flour and sunflower oil flour and carrot and salad and flour that is really really awesome stuff that the devs have worked on that uh, issue uh, well maybe not issue but they have addressed house boundary as I was talking about it in the previous episode unfortunately we still don't have a cow uh, I need to go and find one we need to find a male pigs for the pigs to reproduce but that's gonna be all done later on in today's episode I actually wanted to venture out uh, north uh, to find end of the map biome where I was supposed to find irradiated mushrooms but we're not gonna go there just today because there's shit loads of stuff that I would like to talk about check it out and see how it's gonna roll I don't know for how long this animal fed will last in this trough but we shall see well this gameplay is all about testing and sharing with you guys my experience even if I die quite often well actually how many times did I die uh, six times holy shit that is quite a lot and I have killed only 850 zombies that is not a lot now I was uh, reading the update notes and there was some information about don donkey can I actually have donkey to assist me as a as, as dog I haven't found any donkeys just yet but I am really eager to find one that would be so awesome if I could find it Really, honestly, please let me know in the comment section and below if you have found donkeys or if that is like pack mule or something. That would be very interesting for me uh, to check it out and hopefully maybe even one day uh, grab it. Another thing that has been changed is uh, Survival Crafter Workstation recipes have been reviewed and now... Um, and now crafters can craft, among others, ammunition. Well, I don't have any crafters since they died, um, and that sucked. <laughs> but as for now, remember that your crafters will look for food in block of 10 radius from the fridge. So you can put mm, your crafters in the radius of 10, I think. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, up to the wall I can put my crafters and they will look for food in the fridge. Unfortunately all guys that were over here died, uh, so they will not uh, use that food that I have crafted. But we can check on the guard if something has changed with him. 
or if he ate something else except for cornbread, no. So, you've heard that, right? You must have heard that cough. Somebody was coughing. Uh, you know what? I was uh, asked if if the guard does not require water. So let's address that issue as well. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna take 15 jars of water and a bucket of water to see if he actually will use some of it. If not, well then just fantastic. We'll have this off our bat. But on the other hand, when I'm sick, I need to drink golden rot tea. So why won't we just cook one or two maybe for him and I should have like something over here so let's do that <coughs> shall we uh, let's cook two golden roti that will only take 20 seconds so no harm done and then we'll put it uh, then we'll give it to him close by so he can maybe maybe be more healthy and on the other hand we can put antibiotic just in case and grain alcohol just in case and maybe medkit and a pill this is what i'm doing for the sake of gameplay to test it out and to see if that will actually help somebody who might be in dire need uh, of medical supplies because i've heard him cough just a few seconds ago okay so grain alcohol antibiotic painkillers and two golden road seas and seas uh, teas and then we will see how it's gonna go Fantastic. You do the hard work, dude. You are really awesome in killing uh, the animals. I am prepared for going out, but we're not gonna... Oh, actually, first aid kit, I should add this here as well. Uh, as I said, I was preparing to go out, but we're not gonna go out just yet. I have planted a huge farm upstairs. Huge farms with corn and whatnot. And planted and placed, as you can see, corn. There's some strawberries, blueberries. Uh, I have tomatoes, shit loads of them, uh, chrysanthemum and golden rod over there. And I have placed ultrasonic rodent repeller uh, so that the rodents do not come here quite often. I hope uh, never. But we shall see how, it, uh, how it's going to go. Now, pesticide has been moved to the chemistry station since it's easier to get. Uh, okay, fair enough. Good, good, good. I actually don't remember when the pesticide was, but I guess the same chemistry is that chemistry station. No, I think that's a... No. This is the chemistry station and pesticide, homemade pesticide. You can make it right over here. Uh, copper and uh, copper ore and zinc are easier and destructible now and can give you more scrap materials but spawn less often and items count needed to uh, recipes using that materials increased a little. Change recipe for Big Forge. Uh, or actually, that should be checked in the big fort so let's go over here uh, because now we can get the zinc and copper out and I was addressing that issue one time uh, which is really really uh, good that you can not only put it in here but only but you can also take it out which is quite awesome and I do approve that change uh, change the recipes no fixed uh, fixed wheat cannabis and sugarcane not getting plague uh, and enormous growth time reduced added archery profession to chain quest now uh those quests are over here uh chain uh, uh, archery profession archery training look at that <clears throat> we can get uh, it seems i'm doing well with bows and crossbows i need to train more if i want to become become a master kill 10 zombies using crossbow or bow that is fantastic and then that is going to be quest uh, huh, huh, huh. so we will get eventually up to 10 skill, skill points if we complete that probably the amount of zombies needed to be killed will be increased but for now i'm not too fast about it since uh, well i believe i have shitloads of perks what was that yeah 109 points to spend that's going to be awesome what else what else is interesting that has been added into the game is the sanity sanity mechanics unfortunately i haven't found any indicator of the sanity and that i think that sucks a bit 
because well i don't see if i'm insane or sane or whatever probably i will get some information about active effects uh, but i don't know how it's gonna go uh, now we need to keep uh, our character sane what will this decrease starvation or being dehydrated suffering damage the higher the damage the higher the impact on insanity being hunted or sensed radiation sickness dying will increase your sanity a lot I'm not gonna die for the sake of gameplay to check if the sanity will drop uh, somewhere uh, because that would be quite stupid to stand points of wellness but still <coughs> what will sorry about that I have a frog in my throat today. Uh, what will improve my sanity? Sleeping, eating good food, smoking cigars and plants. Hmm. This is not healthy. Uh, WHO wouldn't approve that, but I actually do. I actually do. Right, we have a wheat to be collected. And some carrots still needs to grow. Water is going down a bit, but the corn is ready and we can pick it up. Fantastic. We will have shitloads of corn. Uh, up the up the on the roof of our lovely prison. I actually got used to the prison, I, and I completely forgot that we are actually living in a prison nowadays. Hmm. Really cool. Uh, now I just want to, because of that animal fad. I want to check what. Oh yeah, it has been destroyed by unknown survivors. Somebody destroyed it. Uh, I mean, uh, a rabbit hutch that was over here. Right, trees are growing. What about water? It is watered. Well, the trees are not growing so so fast. So, um, Devs has also lowered the chance of getting something in the trap. Uh, it used to be... Uh, you always got something if you bait the trap, but now probability of that happening is like 30%. Uh, the baited trap will... will actually, we could... We could bait it just in case we can get some animals yeah fantastic is it baited yes it is uh, so we have now 30 percent of chance of getting something in that uh, trap and we shall see how it's gonna go and uh, now our strawberry cake is in here but we're not gonna be eating that just yet uh, what else will increase our sanity the aquarium i don't know how it's gonna go probably we just need to be close to a fun block as they say Fun, uh, for fun blocks there are those we need to be two blocks away so now i'm right next to my ah look at that happy face well rested fun <laughs> you're finally you are finally relaxing a bit have fun that is fantastic though the radiation does lower my sanity and water level just dropping like crazy but still no big we are having fun what else is cool? I've read that there is a radio. Why nobody told me that we can craft a radio? Maybe it has been added in this uh, in this update, but hell yeah. And we can listen to the music that we have in our uh, folder. Mm, somewhere. I have absolutely no idea where. But you can put it... Uh, radio when turned on radio default folder is game folder data music and will be created uh, once you place the first radio if non-existing all uh, right what else do we need uh, the this is that it no just some plastics let's hope i will have some plastics please do please do please do oh yeah 300 is enough i believe so 17 seconds hell yeah we're gonna craft it and then we will place it um yeah maybe over here why not why not or maybe i can destroy this block and place the radio right over here it's gonna be fun though i don't i'm not gonna play any music since uh, you know all of the copyright issues and whatnot but still we can Holy shit, that is one biggest, biggest radio. That is like, whoops, out of sync. Don't like out of sync information. Okay, so we're going to put it over here. Look at it. Oh, and we can pick it up. Uh, He was smiling. Our character was smiling. Have you heard that? <laughs> that was that was quite interesting. But look at it, radio, fantastic stuff, don't you think? 
dun, 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 dun. No, I'm not gonna sing. No, no, no. Also, um, yeah, except for the radio, chicken fed and animal fed and whatnot, now we have some new perks. If we go into our perk menu over here, we have all the perks that we can find easily. But what caught my attention is that, except for all the perks that I was trying out, there is natural gas energy book perk. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it has been changed recently. And now we can unlock with this pack, with 30 points, we can unlock mill and boiler, which is grand and fantastic. Because I don't know if you remember, I've spent so much time looking for that stupid book. Uh, I had every single book except for the boiler book, but now we can unlock it with a perk which is grand which is really fantastic the same goes with steam powered power book electric energy systems and i love it we also do have stress resistance skill uh, that skill it cannot be controlled it will grant you a passive recovery over time as your mind gets better trained and used to stress your sanity also gets easier to maintain grants you a passive sanity recovery you can of course buy the second level with holy shit 200 points and i have 109 and i thought that was quite a lot but apparently not uh, you can gain stress resistance experience through fighting suffering damage and meditating the more you get hurt the stronger you get Oh yeah, I need to drink. So yeah, well, it is cool, it is cool. So eventually we can become a badass uh, fighting soldier. And you know, that would be really awesome to think to do. Now, meditation, there's another perk called meditation. So let's go once more into that menu over here. So there is a meditation ring which, which increase your meditation startup speed and recovery speed. Uh, we can buy first level for 10. Why not? Let's do it. Stress resistance. Um, what, what next? Okay. Oh, so the stress resistance must be at level second so we can buy the meditation pack. And we're going to go with carrot in just a second. So, meditation, perks 1 to 7. If you have over 75% of max health, max stamina, max food and drink, not fatigued, you can crouch and stay still for a while to start medit meditating. That is gonna be boring as fuck. But okay, we are meditating right now. I hope. Uh, food, 78, health, wellness... Yes, we are. We should be. We are well rested, max food, drink, stamina and health. Yes, we are meditating. Without perks, meditation can take up to two minutes to kick in. Meditation, though boring, recovers sanity very quickly and costs nothing but time. It should recover from zero to 100 in two minutes. I'm not gonna move a muscle, actually, or a mouse, but a level of my food that was at 78% worries me a bit, but let's hope that this will work. You, Oh shit, You uh, radiation is barely above background levels, you should... Yeah, we are getting there. <laughs> okay, so we will, be, we will be dying soon, probably. Well, no, we're gonna use that. Oh shit, Where, where's my syringe? I think it's on a bike. We will address that issue in just a second. Don't worry about that. Let's not be insane before that. And now, uh, let's meditate a bit. You cannot meditate while hunted or sensed. You cannot meditate during a blood moon. Uh, you can scale up your meditation perk, but it is uh, tied to your stress resistance skill. You will decrease the amount of time required for the meditation to, t to kick in. So let's hope it's gonna kick in soon if you max this perk you will be able to craft a meditation carpet that will allow you to trigger meditation immediately when you step on it even 
Ah, the Zen Master have just... <laughs> look at that end. Um, oh shit, I have not read that. So we were meditating. Um, you were meditating. Shish, recovery. Recovering sanity. Fantastic. And unfortunately, our food dropped to 75%. Okay, slightly radiation sickness. Eh, I'm not too fast about it just yet. But I need... I definitely could use could use uh, that syringe on me just in case because i know that the last stage will kill me almost instantly so we will have that syringe if need be we'll use something else as well sake of gameplay sake of gameplay right so am i not meditating anymore mm, that sucks maybe we should eat something and be crouched for a little bit longer uh, what can I eat that will not lower my things so much? Maybe salmon? No, it will dehydrate. Dehydrate everything. Dehydrates me. God damn it. Maybe okay. uh, it would be so cool if I could bake the rabbit. Didn't you think? Okay, let's eat the strawberry cake because it is so cool and awesome. Okay, and now we got this good food buff. Yes, baby. Uh, I was talking about that earlier, actually, in the previous episode. Now, let's meditate a bit. Oh, no, I wanted to check the carpet, the meditation carpet. Ah, meditation carpet, fantastic. So, oh, holy shit, that looks awesome. Uh, okay, so I hope we can do it. I might be resistance. I might increase my resistance to stress, but we shall see how it goes. Okay, uh, moving on. Courage. 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 Let's go with the courage. Zen master. Yes, I am the Zen master. Courage. Courage increases your resistance to mind stress. Uh, recipe black shades. Ooh, yes, baby. Okay, fantastic. You can skill up your courage perk, but it is tied to the stress resistance level. Courage will further increase your resistance to melt and stress by reducing the amount by which your sanity gets hit. Okay, cool. Fair enough. Fantastic. So... Yeah, I am quite happy about that, and I think we can now make shades. Black shades. Do, 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 do. Okay, glass, pa glass panels. Uh, for the sake of gameplay, I'm going to do it. I don't know if they are connected somewhat uh, with this. Do I have some? Please tell me that I do have some glass panes. Yes, I do. Oh, shit. What? It has been unlocked, wasn't it? Oh no, oh. Oh, the next level will I will increase, will un unlock the Black Shades recipe. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. So let's meditate a bit more, shall we? Yes. Now, uh, how will sanity affect you? If your sanity goes above 90%, you will gain a strong-minded buff. This buff, this buff, will grant you resistance to stunt and sanity degradation. What went wrong? Something changed. My oh yeah, that's because I ate good food and I am increasing my fullness by one every thirty seconds. So every time it drops, it goes up. Just after after a few minutes. Okay, fantastic. That is really cool. So, if your sanity goes above 90%, you will get strong-minded buff. This buff will grant you resistance to stunt and uh, to sanity degradation. It will also slow down your stress resistance leveling since you get sanity hits less often. Less often. If your sanity goes below 50%, you will start having small breakdowns. That does not affect you. Okay, uh, so the stamina cap went up. Cool. Uh, if your stamina goes below 50%, you will start having some breakdowns. That doesn't affect you much, but will make some noise randomly. Laughing, crying. Ooh, I think I would like to go insane. Of course, we will try this out for the sake of gameplay, as usual. Mm, if your sanity goes below 25%, you will start having bigger breakdowns. You will randomly scream thus making even more noise. If your sanity goes below 10%, you will go insane. This will mean that you will start hearing voices making no noise, <laughs> but you will start making random actions like crouching, attacking, and hyperventilating. 
your exoskeleton can help you monitor your mental health status. If it's triggered, it's triggered hard press and hold page up key will show up your sanity level and issue health warnings. Fantastic. Now, so I am, whoa, holy shit, so many cool stuff. Uh, I am meditating. I am well rested. I am couraged, I believe. Or not. What does this say to me? I am not meditating anymore. Strong-minded, yes, so we are above 90% of sanity, which is fantastic. Probably we'll go insane with the radiation sickness soon, but we shall see how it goes. Um, so, okay, guys, I think that's going to be roughly it for today's episode. We have crafted a radio. Uh, we have checked a new bull. I am quite happy as hell and I am relaxing as you can see uh, we got some new recipes probably there's loads more uh, with this update but I think I have just covered most of it most of the information uh, let's check on our guard if something changed over here no water no water usage no grain alcohol no nothing no medical supplies as well so, okay, guys, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. As I said before, uh, we can turn this off since the carrots are fully grown. And, well, actually, I could... Well, I have big ass. I have big ass farm up there. So that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment about the gameplay, subscribe to the channel if you're new and you like what you see. And I hope that we'll see each other in the next episode. So till then, take it easy. Have fun and happy gaming. Bye.